So welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. Like I said in my last video guys, I have got a few little pickups that I've picked up from the charity shop over this last week. Uh, so let's just go into a little bit of a story first and I showed a little clip I got on my phone because I'm conscious of the decent bits I'm picking up that I'm not having any, Not I don't want to say evidence, it's the wrong word to use, but I've not got any kind of footage to show that I'm picking this up and just bringing you guys on that journey with me and I've always stated that I've wanted to do that as part of this process. So let's go to the little clip now actually. It's literally, I think it's 10 seconds, 15 seconds of me going through this black bag within the charity shop uh, and you'll see what I find. So let's cut to that now. Welcome back. So you guys would have seen a very short clip. Let me tell you the story behind this. So I was in the charity shop going through different bits and pieces. There wasn't much there at all. I believe I was going through some of the monopolies. So they had some monopolies on show. They had Thunderbirds and they had a sealed, which I should have, I didn't even look on my phone at the time. And I totally forgot because this, these black bags come in. They had a sealed Games of Throne, uh, the black box Monopoly board. £15 they wanted for that though. So I kind of left it. And they had on the shelf. They also had on the shelf Question of Sports. And this was an interesting one because I shared some knowledge with them on this. So I had a Question of Sports, uh, the old style one, green box. They had £5 on it. Uh, and straight away, I knew with that Question of Sports, you see them at the boot sale sometimes, but they're coming very, very harder to find because of the cards that are inside are deemed as uh, first appearances or the first time that sport athletes has been in the card format. So you would know that it is... Mike Tyson's first time in a card and that card on its own goes anywhere loose from about 28 to 30 to graded 80 to 100. Uh, Michael Jordan now, that card in there started to creep up in price. Maradona, uh, because of the passing I believe, that card has become extremely uh, rare to find but it's actually increased in value as well. So the question of sports board game, if you can find it in good condition and all the cards are there, uh, pick it up. I've seen it for a couple of quid at a boot sale, but I've never really looked into it. It's not till I've been watching other people's YouTube content that I realised how desirable the cards are. So I took this off the shelf. I didn't want to buy it because, I, I, one, I've got too much stuff, guys, still to go through. And I'm, I'm still picking up stuff myself. And like I say, trying to do, well, trying to wheel and deal deals myself. Uh, so I did say to the charity shop, I believe you've got this too cheaply on the shelf. They wanted £5 for it. And they said, what do you mean? I showed them through my phone. Uh, so I went through my phone. I said, look, they have this Mike Tyson card. Just educated them a little bit. Then they asked me, which I thought was nice. They said, how much would you put on this? And I said, to be fair, given the cards were quite a bit of money, you know, you've got £5 on it. I put £25 on the game. They put £25 on it. They asked me where to put it, uh, weirdly enough. I just said, maybe on top of your DVD rack because it's near their till as well because they were telling me they have a lot of theft in the store so we put it on there within 20 minutes so when i was still in there someone come in and picked out for 25 pound and paid it and to be fair they were well impressed of my knowledge they were very grateful and then just as that was happening a man come in and said i've got six black bags uh full of bits and pieces can i bring it in so he brought it he brought in there's loads of clothes then there was a few dvds and cds uh which went into one pile and then there was another bag of cds and dvds which we deemed with cds and dvds they asked for my opinion on it and said do i want to go through the stuff uh i was like hell yeah i'm gonna go through that first time going through it so i went through the cds and dvds nothing really there apart from one dvd so i love my and these these are what i brought in the past these isn't what i found there but i love the tinned dvds but i love the trilogies uh so i don't think this is the trilogy this is just a robocop special but i've got back to the future i've got jurassic park and i've got some of the others which are mostly somewhere these are like the new ones i've picked up mostly in the last year uh but yeah i picked that up and where is it i was gonna say, oh it is here right and the one they he had in this bag uh, was the mummy trilogy so it's in the box. I think I've got National Treasure as well. But I just love the feel of these tins and the fact that the trilogy's in there and it's just something different. Uh, I like how they look on the shelf as well and the artwork. So I picked that up as part of the bundle. So let's not put that up there yet because we're talking around how much I paid for it. Uh, so I went through that. And then the other bag opened up, VHSs. Uh, what's deemed in charity shops in the moment? And only some, only some charity shops do this because uh, I've been in others that do exactly the same. If VHSs or cassettes come in, they throw them in the bin. I don't want to say throw them in the bin. 
they kind of put them into, I guess they have drivers that come every night and pick up what we deem to be rubbish maybe. But it goes in, it kind of goes in this kind of reject pile, which I don't know if it goes to, you know, if it goes into bins, if it gets destroyed or where it goes. But the all VHSs and cassettes go into this pile. Uh, so I opened up the VHS, which you would have seen in the video. I uh, started going through a few of them and I saw American Werewolf in London, The Thing, uh, Weird Science, which I've got and love that. Weird Science, what else was there? Full Metal Jacket, National Lampoon, The Christmas uh, Christmas Vacation. There's another one. Oh, it's going to play on my mind. Uh, I think it's one of the Now, like Now now 20. I didn't realise they'd done the Nows on, but it showed the music videos. So I said, look, I put these to one side. Didn't tell them what I was going to do to them. Put them to one side. All the rest were Disney. And I did say to them, look, I think you'll still get some money for the Disney, but they just don't want to deal with them. They're like, no, we struggle to get rid of the... I don't want to try and do a voice, but they struggle to get rid of DVDs and CDs. They don't want to start being piled up with VHSs. So I was like, fine. I said, but with this pile here, I said, just put them out and see what happens. Again, put them out that afternoon. The next day I went in there, they were gone. So they done really well. They done really well. And they're only selling them for a pound each. Uh, the thing, that was it. It was the thing, the thing on uh, VHS. So I put them out on the top shelf. They've all gone. So they were like, yeah, actually didn't realise about the VHSs. So no doubt they get more VHSs in. They said that they asked for my opinion because I am. this is my local charity shop. I'm in there pretty much every other day, lunch times, or if I'm going past to the post office and going into Sainsbury's, I'll pop in even if it's just to say hello. Uh, so yeah, done that. However, in the VHS bag, which you guys would have seen, there was a couple of Mega Drive games and the guy did not mention anything about Mega Drive at all uh, that was in there. It was just the fact that so the first one that stood out to me, guys, when I looked in the bag, and you guys wouldn't have seen this in the video, because obviously when I've opened it, I didn't have my camera on to begin with because uh, on my phone because I just, I just assumed it was VHSs. So the first two that I saw were these two. So Chuck Rock and Sonic, and I thought... Oh my god, and what goes through your head straight away, hence why I pulled my phone out, I thought, say the whole bag's full up of Mega Drive games. No one's going to believe that I've just gone into a charity shop and there's a whole bloody ba black bag full of Mega Drive games. Uh, so I got the camera out straight away, and I guess, then I started fiddling back through them, I thought, oh, I'll pull them out, get them on camera. And then, absolutely no idea, and one of my favourite games on the Super Nintendo, and I own it already, I don't have it on the Mega Drive, is Zombies. I could not believe this was in the bag. This was in the bag, uh, and it's got all the cheats on there on paper in terms of what levels to have. But yeah, re really shocked. I know this game's desirable, and I know it's one of the high-end games on the Mega Drive, which is why I was shocked to see kind of P uh, PGA Golf, Chuck Rock, and Sonic, uh, which are kind of, they're okay games, but they're quite standard games. I wouldn't expect to see zombies in with these three. Uh, so... Yeah, quite random. Uh, I, I'm definitely, I'll definitely keep all of them because I keep the Mega Drive games. Uh, but yeah, really happy with zombies. You never, I'm never ever. I, I can, I pretty much believe I will never ever see that in a charity shop again. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I picked those up with the mummy, and then there was a couple of books I saw in there as well, uh, which is in another kind of pile where these black bags were, and the books were. Uh, and again, guys, I don't know much about Harry Potter. I don't know what I'm looking for. I've done a little bit of research and I don't, I believe this is not a desirable book, uh, but I picked it up thinking it was. So I found Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, and the reason I picked this one up is because it said $4.99 on the back versus the other ones I had on the shelf that said $5.99. And I thought that means this is an earlier edition. Uh, however, I've now noticed it's all to do with what's at the bottom of the writing here. Uh, and... This isn't one of the desirable ones. I don't believe, but I need to check. And it doesn't have the error on page 53, which is what I've just gone to. That is quite random that I've just opened it up at page 53. Because that's what I needed to look at as well, where it double states one wand. Uh, and guys who know about their Harry Potter stuff and know what I'm on about. Uh, but yeah, but it doesn't have that. But I picked it up anyway, because I don't have it. And every time I buy these and I bring them to a boot sale to sell on, or just think, you know what, I've got them now. I usually collect the sets. You guys would have seen in my video. And if I'm not going to read them, I've got too many of them. I just bring them to the boot sale. I won't even sell them online because the postage. Uh, so I bring them to boot sale. I'm usually selling them pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, pick that up. So that's part of the pile still over here. Then I saw this. I've never seen this before in my life. And I don't I don't think it goes for much either because I did check when I went home. But I found the Sun Football Cyclopedia 3D album of 1972 and 1973. And guys, these things are 3D. Uh, I never knew there was anything like this. 
Uh, it does say here in terms of, so I don't, well, I say I don't believe that's the person's name. It mostly was in 1972. So it says, name, Gary Neville. 33, Petswood Hill, St. Paul's Craig, Orpington, Kent. Please do not be knocking on that person's door. Uh, but yes, favourite player, Bob Wilson, club, Arsenal. Uh, and guys, it's got loads of sats and different bits and pieces. I doubt the person lives there anymore, to be fair. Uh but yeah, like they've so they've they've taken a so you've got to collect these 3D little pictures, put them in each of the clubs, and just put down what club they pay for and who they are. But yeah, I thought this was I've never seen anything like this. Uh, there's George, someone's put George Best in that one, and Golden Banks, so you can see there. But I never I never knew the sun. You got smaller ones here, so I don't even know how you would have collected these because were they in the sun? I don't know. I wasn't around in 1972, but. Yeah, you've got another couple here. Who's this? Martin Shields. Can't see who that one is. But yeah, some little decent 3D. And I don't... Yeah, it is complete. So it's complete. It's pretty heavy and bulky as well because of the amount that's been glued down. In, no, it's not complete. So you're missing some of the smaller ones. But it looks in good shape. Kind of like that. I thought I'm going to pick that up. And then the last one I picked up because I just love picking up this... Oh, sorry. This historic kind of pieces was the South Bank Expedition London kind of guide 1951 uh, and it's only because i was flicking through it and some of the ads that are in here uh like one to have a cooker in your house i just i just thought it was fascinating uh maps as well which i thought was quite interesting where to go in there the kind of the way to go around sky so different bits and pieces uh yeah i just thought it was interesting British Transport, so it's, yeah, I, I just thought, I'm just going to pick it up, but yeah, like I'm saying about some of the advertising, so you've got it there, it isn't in the best condition in terms of the spine, you can see it's starting to rust, uh, but yeah, I thought I'd pick it up for what it is, with the ads in there alone, I just thought that looks like a good piece of history, pick that up, so you're going to say for all this, I think they've done me a favour to be fair because I've done them a favour in terms of pricing up that uh, question of sports and a bit with the VHSs. Uh, uh, so £3. £3 for everything. So with the Mega Drive games. I know how desirable the Mega Drive games are. However, if I if I was looking to sell them on and make some value, I would have pay, mostly said, look, I'll pay a bit more. But they are going into my private collection. Uh, so I'm happy to find a bargain at that when they're going into my private collection. If I was looking to shift stuff it on and maybe make some money out of it, I'd feel quite bad paying three pounds for everything that I've got there. Uh, but felt like I'd done a generous piece back when I shared the info with the question of sports and the VHSs. So it's another line of revenue, I guess, for them to get into. Uh, and I'm more than happy because I'm in there all the time now. I do get asked quite a bit for my advice or knowledge on certain bits and pieces they've got in there. Because you'd be amazed in terms of how much they think is sometimes junk and or needs to be thrown away. So you'd see some like, uh, I think I mentioned this before, they had loads of poly pocket in a couple of weeks ago. And because they were missing some of the bits inside, they deemed them to be broken and rubbish and needed to be thrown away. Uh, I told them they need to put them out on the shop and they will go straight away. And again, they went within an hour, someone come and picked them up. Uh, so yeah, it's just bits and pieces like that. So we, I guess... They've kind of done me a favour with that pricing in, in exchange for my knowledge, I guess, uh, which is always nice and it's always good to have that relationship. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of the bits and pieces I picked up. I keep wanting to take some water because my mouth's going dry. But, yeah, really happy. If I'm going to say fine from that charity shop, uh, I thought it was going to be the Harry Potter book, to be fair. I really did. The knowledge isn't there for it. I just pick them up as I see them. Uh, but happy with that anyway because I don't have it. Uh, absolutely ecstatic with zombies. There was one other piece I brought, guys, and my, like I said to you before, me and my wife, we have completely different uh, likes, dislikes. She doesn't like any of this. This is kind of my little domain, hideaway. Uh, this is all my stuff, and I love this. However, I did pick up, and I wanted to sell this on, to be fair. So queuing in, the, I went to another charity shop, and I was queuing in the queue because there was about four people waiting to go in, uh, and they were only letting four in, four out. So I was waiting, and... Something just caught my eye in the bottom of one of these glass cabinets that they have at a window. And I never, as I've said this before, I always skim past the windows wanting to just go straight in. And, you know, I've missed a few bits where I've done that. And one of the bits I missed in the past and I had to go back in was My Pet Monster, which you would have seen on one of my other videos. I picked up a new, I think it's 2006, My Pet Monster that talks, which didn't see at all. 
until I go outside and it's in the window and they wanted £1.50 for it. So I picked that up. With this time, so I'm standing there, looked in this glass cabinet. The bottom of the glass cabinet is one of these huge Disney snow globes, huge. Uh, so I, I'm assuming this is from around the late 90s because I remember them in the Disney stores. The big snow globes and they're things of each of the Disney movies and their musical as well. Uh, so I'm standing there and it's Jungle Book. It looked bloody nice. Uh, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do the right thing because my knowledge isn't there on it. Let me go and see what the what the value of these are and what the sell-on value of these are. So I've looked on there straight away. One sold for £77 in November. And before that, two sold for 105 and then 120 So I thought, all right, let's see how much this is. Uh, it, it looked nice as well. And I was kind of getting attached to it as you're looking at it because they're sculptured so nicely. Got in the shop, opened up the cabinet because they allow you to open up the cabinets there. Opened up the cabinet, went to the bottom, picked it up, it was £10. So I thought, right, it's very heavy. And I was wondering about postage, if I was going to sell this on or not. What would happen with the postage? Uh, picked it up anyway for £10. Got home. As soon as I opened the door, the missus fell in love with it. It was like, oh my God, I actually like this. It looks really decent. Blah, 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 blah. I had this conversation. It's like, look, I'm not going to sell it then. No, I, 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 I want to keep it. If you like it, I'm kind of getting you that, you know, that bridge into what I'm into. So if I start getting, if I can find snow globes and kind of bring you on that journey with me, it makes this kind of, bringing this stuff in even easier. Uh, I thought that's how it's panned out anyway. But she's in love with this snow globe. And obviously, if I see any more, I will pick them up now because I guess it brings her back to when she was a child. And, you know, everyone's into Disney as they're growing up. Uh, but especially, I would say, especially uh girls were definitely loved all the you know little mermaids uh little mermaid what else was there sleeping beauty etc snow white some of the wolves aladdin beauty and the beast so i guess with her she's got some disney pieces anyway uh which she's had for years from beauty and the beast and little mermaid i think when she saw that it's kind of yeah and you know what these these don't look too bad they don't look tacky in her eyes She's like, and they're always good when you have children in the future. She'd love to have a couple of these snow globes because they just look lovely. Uh, so she's taken that off me. I thought I was going to get a good deal for that at £10 and maybe get 100 out of it uh, if I was to go down that route of getting rid of it. Uh, so she's taken that. That's hers now. She's deemed that to be her property. And it is her property. Uh, so I'm not going to keep going on about this snow globe. I'm glad I haven't got it up here. I will try and get a picture of it and put it in at the end. So you might see it clip from me saying bye to a picture of this snow globe so you guys can see that and then i'll cut out to the little credits next video kind of bits and pieces but yeah that's it from this pickup video uh thanks for watching guys appreciate i haven't got a long charity shop live pickup especially when the bits were as good as what they were i was not expecting to find mega drive games you never expect to find mega drive games in charity shops in my eyes you know i've i think i've been extremely lucky to find the amount of nintendo wii stuff that i i do uh, and a couple of PlayStation bits and pieces. I've not gone as far back to find anything, you know, like I don't think I haven't found like a stash of Game Boy games or Super Nintendo. So this is kind of my first, I'd say mega, not mega haul, but kind of a decent haul of uh, retro gaming in a charity shop for a couple of quid as well. And to get zombies in there, like I say, I used to play this and my friends know who are watching this. Used to, we used to come around, we used to play this all the time on a Super Nintendo, and we'd sit there for days, writing down the passwords, getting to the next level, moaning about who's going to be which character, and which way you should go, because I think the screen only lets you go so far with one player, and your friend will be off going the other way, and you're like, no, you need to come with me, no, you need to come with me. So it kind of teaches you quite early on around how to work as a team player, but be very cross-functional in terms of how you work. Uh... So look at me trying to put in little uh, bits and pieces, little values and learnings into video games. But yes, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it because I just keep talking. So that's it for this one. I'm hoping to go. I was hoping to go to a boot sale today. However, I took the decision to not go. Uh, I don't know. just didn't feel safe at the moment with everything going on. I feel much comfortable in charity shops than I do going into a field because I, I have been told they're quite busy still. So there are winter boot sales where I am. Uh... I've seen this from another YouTuber and I did contact the boot sale in Cholton. Uh, so not that far for me to be fair. About I'd say about 15 minute drive in the morning. Uh, was going to go there. It had a weird setup where if you're a member, you can go in at 6 o'clock. If you're a non-member, you go in at 6.45. I've seen people that still go in at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock and still finding decent bits and pieces there. Uh, mostly the decent bits and pieces I'm seeing people find is gaming. Uh, I will hit that up in the new year. I will start to go there and then the winter boot sales near me are saying they are going to start in January. So if they start, they'll be on a Sunday and this other one in Cholton's on a Saturday. I'm not going to do 
back to back each one every week, but I will go to one of them per week just to get my boot sale videos back up. It seems to be the videos that everyone likes. You get the biggest views numbers on there, and you, I'm start, I get a lot more people subscribing once I've done the boot sale videos. And again, I think it comes back to this kind of uh, sim, kind of the realistic footage that people can see and they kind of you because you are bringing them on that physical journey they're like oh my god actually he's found some bargains and it's like oh i want to re-watch that because they don't believe that you found it i think with the pickup videos fantastic and i think my loyal the loyal kind of uh subscribers and people that love the content uh you know 100 percent. there's nothing there they know of what i'm picking up i'm a genuine guy and what i'm putting out there is uh 100 real authentic I guess if you're new and you're coming, you're seeing someone like myself now, this is the first time you're watching this, and I've gone, I've found four Mega Drive games in a charity shop. Without footage, you would be asking yourself the question, you know, how much of this do I deem to be realistic? Uh, hence why I'm trying to take the little snippets on the mobile phone just to give that little bit of authentication in the videos and the pickups now. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy it, guys. Uh, do stay tuned because I've got a couple of autographs coming. Uh, in the, I'm hoping in the next couple of days and then i've got gigawatts coming which i'm really excited for from transformers so i'm still waiting for that I'm trying to think if there's anything else i'm waiting to be delivered but i think that is it for now i'm going to take a break from kind of buying bits and pieces until christmas is over because i want to get out over christmas hopefully if it's safe to and actually physically get out to some shops i have got a i have got a new shop opening near me that i'm going to do a tour in uh which is tokyo toys Tokyo Toys. So I believe at the moment they have a shop in Birmingham and they have a shop in <gasps> Glasgow. They are opening their London-based shop in Sikup, which is literally five minutes up the road from me. It's not that far at all. Uh, so I want to go in there and just get a feel for the stuff they're selling in there. I know it's going to be more of an anime, manga, Pokemon kind of style and a little bit different to some of the bits I've got in here. But no doubt with the buzz around Pokemon, uh, I'm expecting there to be some good bits and pieces in there. And considering they've got free shops, the fans and the people buying that stuff has obviously increased for these shops to pop up all over the UK. Uh, so I'm looking forward to going in there and just seeing what bits and pieces they got in there and kind of adding to my knowledge and seeing what else is in the market apart from the retro bits and pieces, the trading cards, the Blu-rays, the gaming, and try and get a little bit, I guess, of this big puzzle inside my head, put a chunk of that piece of that puzzle over to the anime and manga side I used to be quite heavily involved in that when i was growing up loved fist of the north star absolutely besotted with that movie a lot of the street fighter movies that come from that rock sucker dojo i remember massive fan of that loved that movie and obviously dragon ball z uh, or dragon ball super dragon ball gt i love all that so i'm looking forward to going to this shop and no doubt it just pop up some little memories from my past or bits i used to collect uh, so yeah, looking forward to that and I'll definitely do a toy tour on that in the next couple of weeks. I guess as we go over Christmas, uh, like everyone in the UK will be spending some time with my family. My brother has a, more than likely be watching this, has been begging me to do a toy and he go, I haven't been begging you, I haven't been begging you. He's been begging me guys, he's been begging me to do a little tour, a uh, video of a tour of his toys in his room. Uh, so he collects a lot of pop culture toys. As he's living at home still, he has a lot more uh, spendable income to spend on toys so can buy some some better retro pieces. And I do like going to the toy fairs with him, which you guys will see next year. This year's been a bit of a rough, but next year, he, he, he's got the funds to buy some big toys and some big ticket items. Uh, hence, I like going with him and he likes me to... He, he's a little bit uncomfortable of haggling, so that's where he leaves me down to do the haggling with a lot of people. But I, I love doing that and I love getting these toys with so I can still see him. So even if they're my brothers, I still get to see him if I pop over to my mum's and just see his awesome collection. And hopefully one day, fingers crossed, he might just come. He might just think, I'm going to give that all to my brother. Uh, no, uh, if he does, he does. You know, no pressure, no pressure. Uh, but I will definitely be doing a uh, tour, a, a toy tour of his room and bits and pieces. He's got a lot of loose Hasbro, loves his wrestlers, uh, but he's got a lot of different pieces. A little bit like me. He doesn't focus on one line just focuses on lots of different bits and pieces and it gives me an excuse especially at christmas time and birthdays uh, it gives me an excuse to take the money that i was going to give him and go out and kind of source vintage toys for him so i've brought him a lot of vintage toys over the past uh, he loves his hip-hop as well so i always try and blend the two when i'm buying him gifts so i have brought him the notorious big which is worth a small fortune now the m&m figures 
Uh, so he's got those. So you'll, you'll see that on the video tour. I'm going to do that video tour, believe it or not. I'm going to do that on Christmas Day because I'm there Christmas Day, obviously, uh, to have my uh, Christmas dinner. So he's asked me to do the tour in the afternoon. So no doubt we'll just go around that room. I won't spend too long, maybe 20, 30 minutes just going down uh, and seeing what he's got. And I will show you that because I forget sometimes as well what he's got. But we'll go through that as well. So, yeah, definitely some a lot of content's coming over the next couple of weeks. But, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please tick that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, again, next year is going to be a big year. I wanted to really kick the channel off this year. I believe I have. I believe the content's there. You know, if you guys want to watch movies, there's, mo there's a movie playlist. If you want to listen to music, there's a music playlist. Any cartoons or series from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, they're in the playlist. Go check out the playlists. But yes, next year with the toy fairs opening up, the Comic Cons opening back up, you're going to see a lot of videos because I go to a lot of bits and pieces over the year. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.